All right, still has Michael. And I can't wait. Um, Michael, your bro friends want to discuss something with us. I told them to meet at the garment factory. Get over there as soon as you can. I have some messages though. Let's go through them. Nothing but looking basically. Hey dad, how are you? It's like so majorly weird writing to you like this. It's like the nineties or something. Oh. Hey dad, glad to hear you aren't dead. We'll try to talk mom, but she's being a bitch about me dating someone who I promise is totally right for me. He's a drummer and an actor and he's really mature. He's a bit older and I know you'll love him. So excited. Tracy, please be careful. Love you, Dad. Okay. What is this? Simeon? No, not Simeon. Solomon. So Michael has two missions. He's the only one with missions right now. Let's do it. Are you serious? Okay. Uh, let's do the solemn mission. I don't know what this is. But Michael's the only person that has missions right now, so. Um, I'm, I was just waiting. It's weird, because Michael's the only one with missions right now, and I don't think any of them are reuniting his family yet. Let's go, Michael. I don't care if it's mission failed. I don't know. Okay, there we go. They're shooting at me. Hell no. Nah. First person, okay. What the fuck?
I beat you, so you beat an old man? I thought you were a tough guy. You want to get clipped? How you like me now? Try to be nice. Didn't work out. Didn't work out so. I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. Rum runner. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. I caught this guy's in my car. <laughs> so I'm dead. Come in! Come in! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie, a real one. Call me. Wow. Oh, Michael. Oh. Oh, Michael, you're so, you're so adorable. Start up, you piece of shit. Okay. Who do I have next? Okay, don't worry, he broke up, he was a dick. Michael, que pasa amigo? Not good. 
Things have been pretty fucked up. You seem particularly confused, Mikey. Tell okay. me why. <sighs> you know. You know. Okay. I'm up a little down, Doc. So what about the problem areas? <sighs> I've been doing some thinking. I put my feet up and I reflected. My feet were <laughs> literally up on a fucking meat hook. You know, I think that did more for my mental health than all these years of therapy combined. Yeah, I know what I want now. <sighs> Trevor, he's on to me. That's fine, though. You know, it was bound to happen sooner or later. What I want... Dead guy in my car. What I want is I want my family back. I want to make something. I don't want nobody owning me. I'm paying the last of my debt stock, and I'm starting over again. That sounds like a breakthrough, Michael. You needed time to reflect on the work we've done together. Don't undervalue the benefit of these sessions. Have you acted out in any other ways? <sighs> Sometimes I'm fine, Doc. Sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay, okay. Anything else? What about sex, Michael? I'm doing well, Doc, in that regard. Nothing to report, not one single thing. That's great, Michael. It's real progress. See? Treatment works when you try. Ever since I pulled that fucking house off that fucking hill, my fucking life has been fucking fucked. The thing is, Michael, <laughs> you know me. I'm not a sugar coder or a script writer. I mean, we tried a full range of pharmaceutical solutions a couple of years ago, and that went nowhere we want to go back to. Agreed? Agreed. I ain't doing that again. Pissing myself, crying, sleeping in dinner, howling in the middle of the night. Fuck that shit. Maybe we got the doses a little wrong. You're going to have to get yourself under control. Listen, next time we meet, perhaps we should meet back in my office. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid face-to-face -face sessions have got a little more expensive. I thought you said phone sessions were more expensive. Well, they were, but I realized that wasn't fair, so I raised the price on face-to-face. -face. I'm sure you understand. And if you don't, maybe you should. Be well. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to Lester's. Yeah, nobody else has missions, so might as well. All right, let's do this next mission. All right, all right. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So, so you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, the shit's about to hit the fan. 
Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Mm. Has he briefed you? Oh, why, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, evidence. Wow. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael. You'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! <sighs> it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go! Okay, one more kind of heist. Let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. What am I doing? Where's my car? What is Lester doing? He's not good. Ugh. Okay, get out. Lester, is he glitched? <gasps> Sorry, you had to come to this, Lester. Stupid. Okay, let's try this again. Fucking left there. The bureau, parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out. That was annoying because there was somebody in really, the car. Really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, no, no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. I got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. Here we are. Let's wait for him. Okay. Okay, I didn't pay attention to what his... Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
Well, that's just pretty smart. Attitude, but smart. Ooh, what's this? That's not it. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. Then maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Fucking Lester is like brilliant. Like that's honestly a really good idea because they they won't do it. Here we go. Uh, another guy. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. That's the one. You know the drill. A couple of car lengths. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now, let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Two quick turns and we'll be screwed. Get closer to him. And hey, the second you want to take over, give me a shout. The guy isn't an FIB super agent. Maybe close up this gap some. I think we're fine. He's pulling up. Park down the block. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer.
Well, that was simple. Let's go. Successful? Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him to take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. Uh -huh. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. I like how I just push him over. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, battle fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dying bad. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. <laughs> Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. If they're not online anyway. I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. <sighs> I don't know why I stopped that actually. Okay, we're done with the mission. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, man, that... oh. oh, we have a Michael mission. I think that's where he gets his family back. Let's go to Franklin real quick. That's what he's up to. Why am I still doing the grunt work? Okay. Well, he doesn't have a mission, so we're going to Michael. We're playing as Michael still. Oh, he's still here. I don't know why he's trying to drive off into oblivion. Where are we going? Michael's house.
All right. We're almost home and I got a new car. I spite you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Actually, I do. Which way. I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all. But what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. Oh, that lady. Is this where we go to family therapy? So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... There they are, outside. Come on, let's say hi. Guess we better walk up to him. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit hard on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. 
I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what are you uh, uh, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? Enjoy. Yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. <laughs> Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? <laughs> All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. Oh. All right. You know where you're supposed to be. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo party. Down the fucking way. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Something hip that you know says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you gotta do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the Yankslinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is going to have a little cosmetic. Sit on him. No, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh, <laughs> come on. My punt days are long behind me, man. Ah. Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Uh, did you at least do something cool? Ah, uh, uh, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah, uh, uh, just what? Uh, uh, ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Uh, oh my God, uh, Papa Bear! What's Daddy Number Two gonna? Think about this! Uh, let's not get him involved. Uh, let's do... Uh, just just to be clear, I'm not paying for this, right? Ah, uh, uh, you butcher! Uh, uh, please don't put a gang symbol on me. Uh, look, I didn't <laughs> mean it! How about I throw all those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Oh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Sniff, sniff. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. 
it's seeping out. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. Never a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your Sully's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Look at him go. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's. She's idea. right. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga, literally, like Fabian around the head with the laptop. Oh yeah, like how? Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bat hit. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good, not an objective universal good. Ah! Are you You're fucking a crazy? Bad dad. Bad dad. <laughs> not an objective universal good. But like a subjective, what's in our best interest kind of good. This game is just oh, great. Yeah? Awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough. Okay. I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Let's, Let's do some therapy. Okay. Let's do some therapy. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not... Work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No, wait. We'll both get a center. Before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? 
I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I need to pause it. That's, that is too much.